I extend a very warm welcome to our chief guest, Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Thankarji, President, Mayo College General Council and Board of Governors, Maharaja Gat Singh Ji of Jodhpur, Chairman, Mayo College Girls School, Sri VP Singh Ji Badnar, Members of the General Council, Dignitaries, Distinguished Guests, Parents, Grandparents and my fellow students to the annual prize giving ceremony of Mayo College Girls School. India is a land of beliefs and faiths. It is a tradition to invoke the blessings of the Almighty before setting out on a new task or a new day. In keeping with this practice, we begin this day by invoking the blessings of Lord Ganesh, the God of prosperity and new beginnings, with a shloka recital which translates as, He who has the face of an elephant, in whose service the servants of heaven are engaged. He who consumes apples and berries offered by the devotees. One who is the son of Goddess Parvati and the destroyer of troubles. I bow to the lotus feet of that Vigneshwar Ganesh. We now present before you Nritya Sangam. Nritya Sangam is an amalgamation of classical forms of Bharatnatyam and Odissi. Blending beautifully the graceful techniques of both the styles in traditional Indian Tilana Rag, Vrindavani Sarang, Tal Adi. This dance is based on the ancient temple sculptures. Today, it is being presented by the Arangetram and Manch Pravesh students of our school. Nritya Sangam has been conceptualized and choreographed by Guru Seema Bansal and Guru Rishikesh. I hope you enjoy the coming together of two splendid classical dance forms.
orchestra performing Autumn Leaves by Eric Clapton, featuring a captivating fusion of Western and Hindustani musical instruments, including the piano, drums, guitar, violin, sitar, and tabla. Your instruments seamlessly blend to create a truly unique and memorable performance. The popular jazz standard Autumn Leaves has its origin in the ballet music written for the opera Les Rendezvous by Roland Petit. Everything from background vocals to percussion, sitar, violin takes a big leap and creates a storm of inspired rhythms to give the melody an extra flavor. We hope you enjoy it.
I invite our Chief Guest, Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Thankarji, President, Mayo College General Council and Board of Governors, Maharaja Kat Singh Ji of Jodhpur, and Officiating Principal, Mayo College Girls School, Mrs. Supreet Bakshi, to kindly take their seats on stage. Thank you, sirs. Thank you, ma'am. I request President Mayo College General Council and Board of Governors Maharaja Kat Singh Ji of Jodhpur to address the gathering. Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Ji Dankar, Principal Supreet Bakshi, Officiating Principal, Mayo Girls School, Your Highnesses and members of the General Council, Mayo College, VP Singh Ji, Badnor, President, Girls School Committee, Teaching Faculty, Principal, Mrs. Supreme Bakshi, and all staff of Mayo College Girls School, parents, guardians, and last of all, dear students. This morning, we have the honor of welcoming a distinguished personality who has graced the realms of Indian politics with wisdom and leadership. It is indeed my privilege to extend a warm and heartfelt welcome to the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Ji Dunkar. Kindly give him a big hand. I would like to begin by expressing a heartfelt gratitude to the Honorable Vice President for gracing this occasion as our Chief Guest despite his exceedingly busy schedule. Your presence here, Jagdeep Ji, today is a testament of your commitment to the values and importance of education. I would also like to add my personal gratefulness to you, Your Excellency, um, and Dr. Sudeshi Dakar for so kindly receiving us with such warmth at your home in Delhi over tea and readily accepting our invitation and uh, making us proud of this moment. Thank you so much. The affection that you showed my wife and I, we will never forget. Sri Jangibji, deep-rooted connection 
to Rajasthan, his place of birth, early education in the Junino district, and the commencement of his career in the state evokes proud sense of kinship with him. Today, when he met our Vice President, H.H. H. Kishingar, he reminded him that he was there very much in Kishingar. In fact, he went to the extent of saying, I was your servant. That is the level of humility that he expresses as a man of high office. With a distinguished political career spanning four decades, Sri Dhangarji exemplifies the values of leadership, integrity, and dedicated public service. His unwavering commitment to democratic principles serves as a wellspring of inspiration for all of us. His journey through the corridors of power, combined with his legal expertise, establishes, establishes him as a true luminary of India's political landscape. Furthermore, I will mention a few words about Dr. Sudesh Shankarji, um, commendable work in the field of sustainable development is truly inspiration. Her contribution towards a more sustainable and equitable future resonates with the ethos of Mayo Girls School. We convey our greetings to her. Mayo College Girls School remains steadfast in its commitment to producing well-rounded individuals equipped to meet the challenges of the 21st century. Our students consistently excel academically year after year and engage in selfless community service. They epitomize confidence, poise, readiness to face the world's evolving demands. These young ladies leave an indelible mark on the world and their accomplishments are a testament to their exceptional skill and set of values imbibed at Mayo Girls School. One of the hallmarks of our institution is student leadership, which is evident in the annual student-led production and the numerous newsletters and magazines crafted by our students under the guidance of the dedicated teachers. Our students are actively involved in multiple societies that sensitize the current generation to critical issues, including the principal just told me yesterday, original research work, papers that are also for publication. Their musical dance drama production demonstrated their zeal for life and their multifaceted talents. Their director of the program, a well-versed director who has been to several schools, he commented that he has been all over the country and abroad, met several school children, but nowhere, this is the second time in Mayo, Nowhere has he come across the level of talent that he ex experiences here at Mayo Girls School. Congratulations, girl. Our sports day was also a magnificent display of coordination and vibrancy. And we were very glad to have as the chief guest someone who has led in sports and brought the level of ladies' cricket to this pinnacle that it is today, Mithali Raj. We were very happy to have her. On behalf of the entire Mayo family, I extend our profound gratitude to our, for, your, for your presence today, which serves as an immense source of inspiration along with the accomplishments of our alumni and students. Uh, reaffirm our faith in the power of education and to shape a better future. It would be, I would also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge and express our deepest appreciation to the dedicated teachers of Mayo Girls School, your never tiring approach to the students and guidance you provide are visible in the achievements and the character of our students. Your dedication to nurturing young minds is commendable and we truly commend your efforts.
Once again, my grateful thanks to the Vice President for his graciousness, for being here, for his warmth, his kindness, and his overall uh, patronage for our school. We wish him a long, happy, and a wonderful career ahead. Jai Bharat. Thank you, sir. Now I invite the officiating principal, Mayo College Girls School, Mrs. Supreet Bakshi, to present the principal's report. Honorable Vice President of India, Shri Jagdi Dhankarji, Maharaja Gad Singh Ji of Jodhpur, President of Mayo College General Council and Board of Governors, esteemed members of the General Council and Board of Governors, our parents, proud alumni, and the batch of 2002 who are here for the 20 years reunion. Good morning and a very warm welcome to the annual prize giving 2023. The Honorable Vice President of India is a beacon of dedication and service to our nation. He stands as a as a distinguished luminary having held pivotal positions that have left an undeliable mark on the tapestry of nation's governance. Thank you, sir, for your graciously accepting our invitation to preside over the function. We are truly humbled by your gracious presence. Today, we have assembled here to commemorate an exceptional achievement of Mayo College Girls School. We are here to recognize and applaud the relentless pursuit of excellence that has been the hallmark of our institution. Allow me to share some of the achievements from our journey in the field of academics, co-curricular activities, sports, and beyond. I shall commence by presenting some of the highlights from the principal's report. Academics are the cornerstone for educational mission. Our focus on holistic development combined with rigorous academic standard has led our students to excel in ICSC and IS examination of 22-23. A total of 117 students appeared for the ICSC board examination 22-23. Ambar Gill, Kashish Agarwal, Behel Agarwal, and Shubhi Ghatani topped the batch with an aggregate of 97%. Alongside Kanak Chandak and Manasvi Khamisra, each securing aggregate of 96%, taking the batch aggregate to 89%. In class 12, 104 girls appeared for ISC board examination with an aggregate of 86%. Kanan Meena excelled in the science stream with an aggregate of 95%. Brinda Biani led the commerce stream with an aggregate of 96%. And Advika Amit Tuteja scored an aggregate of 99% in the ISC board examination and topped with humanities and the school. I wish to extend my gratitude to the teaching fraternity led by academic directors Mrs. S. P. Vasumati, Ms. Smitha Goyal, and the director of examination Mrs. Gitinder Dua, and the students on this wondrous feat and achievement. We are proud to announce a significant milestone as the first cohort of talented girls who have opted for the Cambridge curriculum in the academic year 22-23 are preparing to face the IGCS examination scheduled for February-March 2024. They carry with them the best wishes from all of us gathered here today. At the International Mathematics Symposium, which took place at the Queen's College, Oxford University, UK, focused on innovative teaching practices, three students, Parisha, Nishika Shah, and Drishana Bachawat, received the distinguished honor of having their research paper featured in the Deserving Scholars in the Research Program. After which, it is not worth noting that Mrs. Deepthi Verma, who is the head of mathematics department, was invited to be on the advisory board of the Mathematics Education for Future project. So, Mr. Sarup of Grade 12 has written a research paper titled Global Uncertainty, Fueling Indian Economy, which has been published by the International Research Journal. Shubhra Sarup of Grade 12 has written a research paper titled Dissecting a Space Odyssey, also published in the International Research Journal for Engineering and Technology. 
A team of class 10 and 11 students are competing in the Indian National Space Settlement Design Competition. This unique challenge encompasses a fusion of diverse fields, including robotics, finance, community planning, and science and technology, all directed toward futuristic endeavor of space settlement. We take pride in the achievements of Kashish Agarwal and Janvi Mahana, both from class 11, who have entered the recognition from the New York Academy of Sciences for their pioneering work in developing a prototype for cognitive classroom teaching methods. Moreover, our students have consistently excelled in the national level assessment for scholastic skills through educational testing known as ASSET. This comprehensive test catering to students from classes 4 to 8 assesses proficiency in English, science, and mathematics. I am delighted to share that Omaya Ohuja from class 4 and Myra Chabra from class 7 both have achieved an impressive 99th percentile in English. Durya Gupta, a student of class 7, has likewise secured a remarkable 99th percentile in both science and mathematics. Furthermore, Vedika Shivastava of class 7 has also secured a remarkable 99th percentile in science. Adding to our, our accolades, Arika Jalan of class 4 has brought laurels to our school by securing 10th position at the International Hindi Olympiad. To equip our students and to prepare them for any challenges that lie ahead after the journey to school, we have introduced the preparatory classes for competitive examination like IPMAT, PSAT, SAT, IITJE and design courses and also QAT. The QEANS Commonwealth Essay Competition organized by the Commonwealth Royal Society for the Citizens of Commonwealth Nations proudly upholds its status as the world's oldest international school essay writing competition. In the most recent edition of this prestigious competition, we are honored to announce the outstanding achievements of several of our students. Siddhi Deshmukh, a student of class 12, has emerged as the senior winner, securing a coveted gold medal, which means from all of the gold medalists across the Commonwealth uh, countries, she is the gold medalist. Additionally, we are delighted to acknowledge the uh, exceptional accomplishment of Raisa Gulati, who had earned a gold medal in the last year's competition and has been graciously invited by the Royal Commonwealth Society in recognition of her significant contribution to a book commemorating the illustrious 140-year history of Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition. Both Siddhi and Raisa have been extended the distinct privilege of attending a special award ceremony at Buckingham Palace scheduled to take place on the 16th of November 2023. <laughs> Furthermore, in the same essay competition, Jia Jindal bagged a gold award, Vama Garg and Dia Gold, both of whom have merited silver awards, Divishi Sharma, Gauri Agarwal and Muktika Singh Rathor, each of them have earned a bronze award. Dia Goel has received a position at Queen's Commonwealth Essay Writing Competition for third consecutive year. Riya Gopalan, a 7th grade student, has garnered the prestigious Star Artist Award at Picasso Art Contest and Online International Art Competition. Roy McComish Artwork is an annual worldwide art competition in which students are invited to submit artwork in any medium of capture the theme of the Round Square Conference. This year, the theme of the conference was New Africa. Divyana Singh of Class 11 has been acknowledged for artwork under the High Commendation category worldwide. All this has been possible by the vision and the leadership of my directors and my head of the departments. I would like to compliment here the head of the Department of Art, Mr. Nikuj Basu Batare, and the Director of Activities, Mrs. Akan Sharato. We applaud Tanushri Ghatani, a student of Class 12, for her remarkable journey to the base camp of Mount Everest, reaching a height of 19,307 feet, and her ambitious attempt to scale Island Peak, which stands at a remarkable height of 20,226 feet. This year, in total, 123 of our students had the privilege of having an exposure to international uh, cultural program and experiences. Community service remains an integral part of the school and is finally embedded into our curriculum. Each student of the school contributes to the community service. This year, our students contributed a total of 8,343 man hours of community service. <laughs> Mumal Kamwa, Simran Aneja, Prisha Singhal, and Mansha Narang, accompanied by the head of community service, Mrs. Rakhi Mishra, engaged in a transformative service project at Adventure Camp in Ladakh, organized by an IPSC school. These resilient students undertook a challenging trek to Stoke La Paz, standing at an altitude of 15,000 feet, and contributed to the construction of a shared land model school. 
This year, on the 2nd of October, our school introduced a noteworthy initiative, Shramjivi Divas, a special day dedicated to honoring our dedicated service staff. On this occasion, we had the privilege of facilitating those members of our service staff who have dedicated an admirable 25 years of service to our institution. We extend our deepest gratitude to our Chairman Mayo College Girls School Committee, Shri V.P. Singh Ji Badnaur, for supporting this endeavor of ours. Furthermore, our heartfelt appreciation to Mrs. Pooja Kothari, President of Mayo College Alumni Association, and the entire community for their significant and meaningful contributions to our service staff on 2nd October 2023. We are delighted to announce that Mayo College Girls School has become a member of International School Sports Organization, that is an ISSO. I also take immense pride in sharing the remarkable achievement of our students across various sporting disciplines, of which we offer 16 sport. Collectively, our dedicated young sportsmen have clinched an impressive total of 628 medals, comprising 318 gold medal, 178 silver medal, 132 bronze medal. In addition, 182 girls have been selected to represent at the national games. While four outstanding girls, Adab Kaur Siddhu, Bhishma Rana, Khivama Rai, and Sayongita Shiktawat, have earned the opportunity to participate in India team trials for shooting. My compliments to their coach, Mr. Ajay Singh. A heartfelt commendation extend to our sports department colleagues, and in particular, Mrs. Alka Seni, Director of Sports, for a visionary leadership which she has inherited, inherited from Mr. Sajjan Singh Dhiban, ex-director of sports. <laughs> our alumni thrives on the remarkable synergy and enduring bond between our esteemed alumni and our beloved alma mater. Recently, we extended a warm welcome to the batch of 2013 for the reunion, and we have amongst us the batch of 2002 for their 20 years reunion. We are proud of the achievement of our alumni in various walks of life. Divikriti Singh, Parinas Dhaliwal, the names are, the list is endless, but I will extend myself with Tejasvi Chandela. The school continues to move forward, crossing milestone, following the legacy of the founder principal, Mrs. Jamila Singh. Her vision continues to act as a guiding light and inspiration to the MCGS fraternity. We are grateful to Ms. Kanchan Khanke for her leadership and contribution to the school. I, in, in concluding, I would once again extend my heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed chief guest, the Vice President of India, for generously dedicating his valuable time to be with us today and gracing our prize-giving function. I would like to express my gratitude to the Chairman Mayo College Girls School Committee, VP Singh Ji Badnaur. Ladies and gentlemen, what we saw of three days of this event, it was the vision of the Chairman Mayo College Girls School, and we thank him for his endless support to all of us at the Mayo College Girls School. I extend my gratitude to the members of the General Council and Board of Governors for their unwavering trust in the school. Lieutenant General Surendra Kulkarni, Director of Mayo College, for his guidance from time to time. Thank you, sir. And Mr. Sanjay Khati, Principal Mayu School, for his relentless support. I would acknowledge all the members of the staff and the students and the service staff of the school because of which we were able to achieve all the milestones in the year that we have achieved. As I come to the end of my report, I end with this joyous occasion of prize giving. I wish you and your families a very happy Diwali. May you carry with you the cherished memory of this event. I would now invite my school captain Parisha to continue with the academic achievements. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. It is indeed an honor to announce achievements in the domain of academics. The Cambridge curriculum that was introduced in the last academic year has fostered a student-centered learning environment by introducing a diverse range of subjects. The IGCSE curriculum now offers 19 subjects, with two new modern foreign languages, French and German, introduced as an optional subject along with Hindi. We look forward to introducing the advanced subsidiary level in the next academic year. In collaboration with the junior school, Mayo College, 
An interdisciplinary learning project called Museology was undertaken for the students of class 6, collaborating English, science, mathematics, history and geography with museum studies. We are very happy to announce that five girls, Nishika Shah, Drishana Bachavat, Raisa Gulati, Radhika Tibrival, and Shreshta Modi, along with Mrs. Deepti Verma, head of the mathematics department, presented their research papers at the Association of International Mathematics Education and Research Mathematics Conference held in the city of Tirupati. In physics, Janvi Mahana of class 11 is writing a research paper on simple harmonic motion she has engineered a working model for analyzing the motion and that model has been displayed in the physics exhibition room. In the field of robotics, the students are now independently programming smart automation systems, long-range transmitters, humanoids and decoding complex algorithms. In the realm of career counseling throughout the year, we have had various workshops, psychometric testing, individual counseling sessions, visits by different university representatives to assist the students explore the plethora of career opportunities available for them. Mrs. Shraddha Chauhan, our career counselor, visited 15 international universities in the United States to get a better understanding of their admission process. Mayo College Girls School and Mayo College co-hosted the Higher Education Awareness Program. The program held in September consisted of 18 workshops on different topics a profile building fair, a panel discussion, and the career fair which witnessed participation from more than 140 universities from 15 countries. 66% students from the passing out batch of 2022-23 have taken admission in Indian colleges, while 34% students have gone to different colleges in the USA, UK, Europe, Canada, Singapore, and Australia. I now invite Palak Vohra to present a summary of achievements in the field of co-curricular activities. Thank you, Pari. This year, we successfully hosted five inter-school events, including the World Scholars Cup Regional Round, MCGS MUN 2023, IPSC IT Fest, the 10th edition of the Silver Jubilee Commemorative Young Thinkers Conclave, and IPSC Literary Fest, all of which were very well received. Mayor Sangheera, Anvi Mittal, Sachi Korvej, Soumya Saroop, and Purnima Chauhan participated in the IPSC Art Fest, where they won awards in poster and flower making, outdoor photography, and cake design. Manya Agarwal, Bhishma Rana, Nishika Shah, and Siddhangna Kumari participated in the IPSC dance competition where they bagged outstanding dance and movement award in both folk and western dance category along with pedagogy and praxis. Simran Aneja, Tanushri Beth, Meheg Agarwal, Shruti Singh, Anupriya Bhavari, Riddhi Bajla, Davi Kejriwal and Ashri Nahata performed Arangetram and earned a diploma in Bharatnatyam. While Navya Latta, Rishana Bachavat, Adera Singh, Manbi Agarwal, Kashvi Kejriwal, and Meher Sangheda performed Manch Pravesh and earned a diploma in Odissi. At the IPSC Literary Fest 2023, a team of Kea Chaudhary and Shubhra Saroop was declared the best delegation, speech writing and rebuttal, as well as outstanding speakers. At the Silver Jubilee Commemorative Young Thinkers Conclave, the Hindi debate team was declared the overall winner. The team members were Palak Vora, Janandini Soda, and Soumya Goyal. Mayo College Girls School team was declared the winner at the IPSC Dramatics Fest. The team comprised Simran Aneja, Suradatta Singh Gijgar, Divyangna Singh, and Tara Sandhu. At the same event, the non-verbal play team consisting of Prisha Singh, Suradatta Singh Gijgar, and Simran Aneja was declared the overall best delegation and best delegation speciality at Additionally, Prisha Singh was awarded the best performer in the non-verbal play. Naisha Parashar, Ragini Singh Rathor, Arhana Singh and Naisa Chopra participated in the Living Newspaper Enactment event at the IPSC Literary Fest. The team was declared the best delegation ensemble performance and best delegation speciality. Naisha was declared the best performer. 
Jia Jindal and Muktika Singh Rathore bagged the overall Best Delegation trophy at the IPSC Literary Fest 2023 in the Multiverse Creative Writing with Spoken Words event. Additionally, Muktika was one of the recipients of the Critics' Choice Award. In the Hindi Creative Writing and Drama event of the Silver Jubilee Commemorative Young Thinkers Conclave, Pari Shah and Arzu Kalra bagged the first position. The students of the Moral United Nations Club participated in Walman, where Radhika Tibrawal was declared the best delegate, while Kanak Chandak an outstanding delegate. Eight girls participated in the first ever IPSC Fest hosted by Daily College Indore. Anaisa Mittal won an outstanding performance award in junior French poetry. The students participated in the Deutsch Utsav German Fest held at Mayo College Ajmer and bagged the first position in On the Spot Painting Competition, second position in meme making competition and third position in poem recitation. A team of 26 students qualified for the World Scholars Cup Doha Global Round. Out of these, 23 students have been selected for the prestigious Tournament of Champions. At Mayo College Girls School, students take up unconventional projects like the Unveiled Society that believes in the importance of mental well-being of children and makes them aware about topics which are deemed taboo. Meocology is an initiative by students of class 11, Amber Gill, Amira Sajdeva, Shrida Mittal, Yashvi Chhabra and Anika Jain. This initiative motivates students to upcycle youth items and donate them to those in need. Unheard Voices, a project introduced by Shivanjali Kumari Dungarpur, aims to educate the girls of our school about animal abuse and how the voiceless matter equally. I now call upon Kia Chaudhary to apprise the audience of the achievements of students in the arena of sports. Thank you, Balak. I shall share some of the high points of achievements in sports. I begin with national selections. Tara Sandhu, Bhumi Hira, and Nava Baldwa have been selected for the under-19 SGFI squash. Rena Gupta, Anahad Mamik, and Sara Rajparovit have been selected for the under-17 SGFI football. Kashvi Upadhyay played the All India Football Federation Nationals as a part of the under-17 Rajasthan team. Twenty girls participated in the Association of Schools for the Indian School Certificate Northwest Region Athletics. The girls bagged an impressive total of 38 medals with 23 gold, 8 silver and 7 bronze. From amongst these, 18 girls were selected to compete in the CISC Athletic Regionals where they won a total of 60 medals, 48 gold, 8 silver and 4 bronze. Eventually, 17 girls were selected for the CISC Athletics Nationals. Fifteen swimmers participated in the CISC Nationals Championship. At the ISSO Swimming Nationals, Nayasha Almal bagged one bronze medal. Shivi Mehta, a student of Class 6, has qualified for the Equestrian Nationals 2023. We proudly announce that 13 girls from the shooting team are selected for the shooting nationals, while Bhishma Rana, Khivama Rai, Sayogita Shikhawat, and other Korsik Dhu have been selected for the Indian shooting team trials. Now, we have the achievements at the IPSC, CISC, and ISSO level. Kashvi Upadhyay received the most promising player trophy in the under-17 IPSC football tournament. In the state swimming championship, our team backed two gold and ten silver medals. The school cricket team performed stupendously well with the under-19, under-17 and under-14 teams participating in the CISC regionals and all three teams made history by securing the first position in their respective categories. Furthermore, all three teams qualified for the CISC nationals. The basketball team backed the runner-up position at the IPSC under-19 basketball tournament. Anya Kalani was declared the best player of the tournament. Three girls participated in the under-17 table tennis tournament where the team bagged one silver medal. Eight girls participated in the ISSO gymnastics tournament and bagged six bronze medals. Now, some other notable achievements. Pavit Arora and Bhumi Hera bagged one bronze medal each in a pool of 350 participants at the Rajasthan State Squash Championship. Kea Chaudhary, Captain the Ajmer team for the 2023 Rajasthan States Football Championship 
the team secured the first runner up position among 55 districts pranal jain avni agarwal manasvi khamisra mahi bishnoi and parnika chauhan have been selected for the under 19 rajasthan cricket association challengers championship while himadri rathor qualified for the under 23 category of the same championship our golf team was one of the first schools to have participated in the indian golf union girls and ladies tournament held at jaipur we are proud to announce that vanya sokhi of grade 7 secured the eighth position in the under 14 individuals category this brings us to the end of the principal's report thank you Thank you. I invite Mrs. Jyotika Rathor to announce the individual trophies and house awards, and request the chief guest, Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Dhankar ji, to give away the awards. Thank you, Muktika. It is a proud privilege. to announce the prizes and trophies won by meritorious students across the domains of academics co-curricular performing arts and sports we begin with the academic prizes first i request the top 3 position holders from icsc and isc examination 2023 to come up on stage and receive their prizes as their names are being announced grade 10 mcgs scholarship for academics and special prize for securing an aggregate of 97% in the is icsc board examination of 2023 goes to ambar gill mcgs scholarship for academics and special prize for securing an aggregate of 97% in the icsc board examination of 2023 goes to kashish agarwal mcg scholarship for academics and yes, special sir. prize for securing an aggregate of 97% in the icsc board examination goes to pehal agarwal mcg scholarship for academics and special prize for securing an aggregate of 97% in the icsc board examination goes to shubhi gattani <laughs> mcg scholarship for academics and special prize for securing an aggregate of 96% in the icsc board examination goes to the following students manasvi khamisra and kanak chanda Grade 12 Science Stream, MCG Scholarship for Academics and Special Prize for Securing an Aggregate of 95% in the ISC Board Examination of 2023 goes to Kanan Meena. Grade 12 Commerce Stream, MCG Scholarship for Academics and Special Prize for Securing an Aggregate of 96%. in the isc board examination of 2023 goes to brinda biani grade 12 humanities stream mcgs scholarship for securing highest percentage in senior section and special prize for securing an aggregate of 99% in the isc board examination of 2023 goes to advika amit tuteja She is presently studying in the Warwick University, UK. And now we come to the individual trophies for the year 2023. Ritu Sinha Memorial Cup for the best art student is shared amongst Meher Sanghera, Anvi Mittal, and Prithvi Modi. Maharaj Digvijay Singh Ji Memorial Trophy for the best MUNR goes to Palak Vohra. Anshu Mitra Memorial Trophy for the best commerce student 
donated by Mr. and Mrs. Chandu Agarwal, goes to Paridhi Birla. The Lakshata Memorial Trophy for the best all-rounder in school, junior section, presented by Mr. and Mrs. Deepak Singh, in memory of their daughter Lakshata, is shared amongst Niamat Sindhu, Siona Ray, and Avantika Pankaj Narayan. The Mamta Rana Cup for the best all-rounder in school, middle section, goes to Manya Mod. The Kunari Cup, presented by Raj Rajender Singh Ji and family, in memory of Raj Sahib Gajender Singh Ji, IAS, for the best all-rounder in school, senior section, goes to Palak Vohra, Kia Chaudhary and Simran Aneja. The Chandni Kumar Lal Memorial Trophy is presented by her parents, Mr. Sanjay and Mrs. Shireen Kumar. The trophy gives recognition to a student or students who not only manage to help others, but also inspire them through their efforts in humanitarian causes. This trophy goes to Shivanjali Kumari Dungarpur. MCGS trophy for outstanding service and helpfulness goes to Suditi Mehta. The Neha Puri Memorial Trophy for Excellence in Dramatics, presented by Mr. and Mrs. Puri in memory of their daughter Neha, goes to Parisha, Simran Aneja, Prisha Singh, and Surya Ditta Singh Gijgar. MCGS Trophy for Co Curricular Activities, presented by Mr. Deen Bandhu Chaudhary in memory of his father, late Captain Durga Prasad G. Chaudhary, goes to Palak Vohra and Kea Chaudhary. <laughs> Principal's commendation for outstanding achievement in school goes to Tanushri Gattani for a remarkable journey to the base camp of Mount Everest, reaching a height of 19,307 feet, and her ambitious attempt to scale the island peak which stands at a remarkable height of 20,226 feet. Principal's commendation for outstanding achievement in school goes to Siddhi Sachin Deshmukh for being awarded the gold award as the senior winner out of 34,000 entries in Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition from every Commonwealth region. Principal's commendation for outstanding achievement in school goes to Jia Jindal for winning a gold award at the Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition 2023. Principal's commendation for outstanding achievement goes to Radhika Tribalwad and Feza Yusuf for raising the level of MUN conferencing among students in school and for excelling in the domain. Principal's commendation for outstanding achievement goes to Dia Goyal 
for winning award at the Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition for three consecutive years. She won a gold in 2021, a bronze in 2022, and a silver in 2023. Principal's Medal for Exemplary Performance of Duty for High Sense of Integrity and Loyalty to School goes to our school captain, Pari Shah. And now for the house trophies for the year 2022-23, Interhouse Community Service Cup presented by His Highness Gat Singh Ji of Jodhpur. This year goes to Sanyogita House. The Interhouse Trophy for Excellence in Information Technology goes to Padmani House. The Interhouse Dance Running Trophy for Best House presented by Padmashri, Her Highness Rajmata Govardhan Kumari, goes to Padmani House. The Interhouse Debate Trophy, presented by Kovar and Kovrani, Ranjay Singh Ji of Badnoor, goes to Karunavati House. The Interhouse Art and Craft Trophy goes to Padmani House. The Interhouse Dramatics Trophy, presented by Mr. H. L. Dutt, former principal Mayo College, and Mrs. Bina Dutt, goes to Mira House and Padmani House. The Interhouse Hindustani Music and Dance Trophy, presented by Their Majesties, the King and Queen of Nepal, goes to Padmani House. The Interhouse Aquatics Trophy, presented by Mr. and Mrs. V. P. Singhji of Badnoor, goes to Meera House. The Tennis Challenge Trophy, presented by Thakur Manvender Singh Ji of Rohit, goes to Meera House. The Nagod Cup for Soccer, presented by Maharaj Nagender Singh Ji of Nagod, goes to Sayogita House. Colonel Kuba Rajendra Singh Cricket Challenge Shield, presented by Major General Kumar Vijay Singh Lalhotra, former principal Mayo College, goes to Sayogita House. The 
the Interhouse Hockey Trophy presented by Thakur Kesri Singh Ji and Thakur Randhir Vikram Singh Ji of Mandava goes to Karunavati House. The Interhouse Basketball Trophy donated by Thakur Umed Singh Ji of Santha goes to Sanyogita House. The Himmat Singh Ji Khudala Memorial Cup for Squash presented by Thakur Javeed Singh Ji and Rajinder Singh Khudala goes to Charumati House. The Interhouse Athletic Trophy presented by Mr. RTN Bali goes to Karunavati House. The Interhouse Games and Sports Trophy, the Kanota Cup, presented by Thakur Man Singh Ji and Sri Prithvi Singh Ji Rathor, in memory of Thakur Mohan Singh Ji of Kanota, goes to Karunavati House. The Trophy for Excellence in Academics, presented by the Old Boys Association, goes to Charumati House. The Jamila Singh Trophy for the Spirit of Mio was presented to the school by the batch of 2010. The student who receives this trophy epitomizes in her person what Mio stands for. She depicts the true values and culture of Mio, and this year the spirit of Mio is shared amongst Parisha, Prisha Singh, and Sreshta Modi. The trophy presented by the Chandal Council for the best house this year goes to Padmani House. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sirs. Thank you, ma'am. I now request our chief guest, Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Dhankarji, to address the gathering. Very good afternoon to all of you. I cannot express in words. It is going to be ever cherished moment for me. And can I, I can imagine the loss of my wife who could not be here on account of ankle fracture. She has missed much, but given me an opportunity to have full human rights in her absence. I am grateful to Maharaj Gajsingh Ji, a man full of sublimity, a man of elegance, a man known across the globe. I have had highest respect for him ever since I came to know of him when we happened to be in Parliament. That was more than three decades ago. When he extended the invite, figuratively I grabbed it. Literally, I behave very well in the presence of Maharaj Gajsingh Ji.
me and my wife will ever cherish the visit which he made to extend invite with her highness i am sharing that i have extended an invitation to him to bless us when we move in the new uprashtrapati nivas later this year he had agreed i am sure he will live up to it <clears throat> sri srimati supreet bakshi officiating principal a remarkable human being in her discourse she traversed all accomplishments and look at her courage the husband was sitting in the front row and she could still keep her composure i will have to learn a lot from her but as principal officiating of this great institution she can take pride in the accomplishments that have in fact been realized it is good fortune of mayo family to have maharaja gad singh ji as president mayo college general council and chairman board of governors mayo college because education is the most impactful transformational mechanism that can change the world bring about equality and contain inequities you require a man of vision exposure and recognition you could not have had a more eminently suited person in this position his contributions will is finally contribute to the growth trajectory of all the institutions including this one it is always a problem when you know a man in and out sri vp singh badnor knows me in and out we have been together in the assembly but his love for power is so much that he was on the treasury benches i was in the opposition as governor of state of west bengal i was privileged to be in the to, to be in his company again he was very lucky governors normally do not wield executive power our vp singh did because he was also administrator of chandigarh i have seen him in all positions as a legislator as a minister as a constitutional functionary but his love for education is ahead of all these commitments of politics he believes in serving societal cause at a very high level and therefore this institute in particular is grateful that he happens to be chairman mayo college girls school committee friends it was just coincidental that padmani house bagged many awards i had visited padmani house three decades ago i have been to padmani house number of times our daughter kamna dankhad vajpayee was studying there in early 90s till 94 while the prizes that were given to padmani house have nothing to do with my visit but then there is always room for flight of imagination i can tell you it is absolute honor and privilege to be amidst brilliant minds i have seen the girls right from the airport the sparkle in their eyes they represent current bharat and will take bharat to 2047 when it attains independence i am full of hope 
optimism and confidence that all these girls in 2047 will be in their prime youth and their contribution will determine the fate of Bharat and that will be making Bharat a developed nation and at pinnacle of nations. In a short space of just three decades, this institution has earned name and fame of an unrivaled degree. This is on account of sagacity of the management, commitment of the faculty, and hard work of the students. The accomplishments are in every walk of life. When I was giving the awards, the learner principal told me, ye both heavy hai. See in the process, forget, forgot one thing. I was governor of state of West Bengal. Tough situations ko handle karna, meri mazburi thi. I extend my warmest congratulations to all the award winners of the school. But the varied nature of awards indicates that this is an institution where education is being imparted in a holistic manner. <laughs> Friends, I take you to my days in Sunny School. I was a meritorious student because it was reflected by the mark sheet. We have to go beyond that. I am so happy this institute is going beyond that. That was the time we did not have Amul or any other brand of indigenous nature. We had Polson. So whenever I would be in the company of a teacher, Piche se bache kehte te Polson, Polson, Polson. Ke Polson laga ra hai. I am so happy that there is integrated development of every facet of personality here, including academics, and that will take you a long way. The Mayo College Girls School has consistently been recognized as one of the premier institutions in the country. But what is soothing to note, the school has produced toppers, shooters, athletes, swimmers, actors, dancers, musicians, vocalists, entrepreneurs, pilots, members of the top civil services in IS and IPS, and the list is endless in such a short time. Just 35 years. As governor of the state of West Bengal, I was dealing with institutions that were 250 years old. And those institutions that had centenary celebrations, the number was in double digit. Your accomplishments in little over three decades are as significant as was the reflection of the World Bank president when he came for G20. He said, what India has achieved in digital penetration and technology in six years could not have been achieved in 47 years. That was reflecting mood of the nation. I take your 35 years manifold. And why I say so? In 2022, the country had a milestone achievement our digital transactions were four times the combined transactions of US, UK, France and Germany. I therefore view your, view your achievements in that perspective. What matters very impactfully is the variety of the contribution which alumni make. Your alumni have made impact in every field from Asian Games gold medalists to pastry chefs. And these are the times that these avenues are open to one and all. If girls make impact, 
that reflects changing affirmative profile of the nation. And all this has happened because of the visionary steps taken by the management when they crafted for you, scripted for you a motto. And that motto is, let there be light. It epitomizes sublimity and essence of education. Friends, in this institute, you are doing the ultimate because education is key to every growth facet of human life. After a gap of more than three decades, fortunately attention could be bestowed. And we had, after getting input from all the stakeholders, a new education policy. A remarkable document, a document that will take this nation to very great heights. We'll be able to realize the dream which we had once, and that was institutions like Takshila and Nalanda. The policy encourages students to explore a plethora of subjects, nurturing their creativity, as a matter of fact, blossoming their creativity and honing critical thinking skills. It aims to dismantle the rigid demarcations between the sciences, arts, and vocational disciplines, empowering students to fervently pursue things of their likes. And mind you, this demarcation was virtually impregnable. The student had the potential, had the aptitude, had the inclination, but the institute would say this cannot happen. That barrier has now come up to a level of disappearance. I'm sure new education policy will be adopted more vigorously to give knee-jerk reaction space to the students. They will be able to play on front foot, fully exploit their talent and expertise, realize their aspirations and dreams. For the first time in the country, two things have happened. And the two things matter to the girls here in particular. You may not be aware, your elders will be aware. There was a time, an ecosystem, which will create hurdles, handicaps, impede your growth, will not allow you to use your talent. Fortunately, as a result of several initiatives and governmental policies, we have in place today an ecosystem that allows every boy and girl to unleash his and her talent, exploit potential, and realize aspirations. This is the greatest achievement that has happened in this decade. And that is why the Honorable Prime Minister has put this decade in a different form, a decade for Bharat, and he calls it Tech Decade. This is a milestone change that has taken place. Friends, we all are in Amritkal. I can say unhesitatingly, on account of our phenomenal growth, our Amritkal is our Gauravkal. I take you only to three months. Who can forget August 23? Sandriyan 3 landed on the south pole of moon. India became the first country to have this distinction. Our ISRO has done wonders. I appeal to young girls to find out that ISRO has put in space satellites of very developed countries in a most efficient manner. If you go to the other aspect, September 21, 2023 is East in history for woman empowerment, for woman-led empowerment. For good three decades, several efforts were made to ensure there should be equitable representation of women in parliament and legislatures. The effort could not succeed. 
but the effort succeeded on 21st of September 2023 when Parliament provided for one third reservation for women in Lok Sabha and state legislatures. I remember one of your alumni Chavi Rajawat she exemplified commitment to social service. She is from your institute. She left corporate world, cozy urban life and chose to be a serpent. She earned kudos all over the country. But girls like her will find now, now greater satisfaction that there will be one third reservation in Lok Sabha and state legislatures giving you all a greater opportunity to formulate policies of this country. Purani kahawat thi bilkul badal gai hai. Par kahawat mein bada dam tha. Aur kya kehte thai? Ek zamana tha jab soch thi abla jeevan hai tumhari yehi kahani aanchal mein hai dood aankhu mein hai paani. Ye kahawat loog kehte thai. They used to express their helplessness that this particular gender is bound to suffer, be ever in suffering. But ab halat kya ho gaye? There's a sea change. Ab ye hai aur aaj hai zamana nari shakti vandan ka. That is what we did on 21st of September 2023. A historic day, an epochal development that will dot progress of this country for centuries to come. Friends, all barriers have been shattered by your gender. I have seen talent of your gender in Rajya Sabha. I have seen talent of your gender in bureaucracy. But imagine now, your talent is coming to the aid of our defense forces as fighter pilots. You are in combat positions in defense. And what a great change which we could never imagine when I was a student of Sunday School Chitorgat. Girls are being admitted there. I am so delighted to share with you that when you take leap in the larger world, nothing will handicap you. I have two suggestions to make. Never be under tension. Never be under stress. Never fear failure. Failure is a stepping stone. Never hesitate to innovate, engage in research. If an idea comes to your mind, ensure that idea is not parked in your mind. That idea must be explored, put into execution. If you don't do that, you are not only doing injustice to yourself, you are in doing injustice to the entire humanity. An idea entertained and not executed is not a proper human uh, response. I am sure you will take care of this and move ahead with this mantra. Am I right, Badnorji? I can call it mantra. It is not copyrighted so far. Second, take pride in being Indians, take pride in Bharatiyata, be proud of our historical achievements because the entire world is stunned at them. There was a time when we used to think of UK, France, Germany, Japan and our economy was taken to be fragile five. What happened in 2022? India became the fifth largest global economy, overtaking Great Britain and France. Doha Zar Tis me, Bari hai, 
जापान और जर्मनी की इंडिया विल बी दर्ड लार्जेस्ट इकोनॉमी इन टू थाउजेंड थर्टी बाई ऑल इंडिकेशन फ्रेंड्स आई हैव जनरेटेड अ न्यू कनेक्ट विद दिस इंस्टीट्यूट थैंक्स टू महाराजा अगत सिंह जी देर वॉज डिसकनेक्ट दो माई डॉटर वॉज हियर I therefore take the opportunity and extend through Maharaj Gassing Ji and invite to the girls of Mayo College Girls School to visit Indian Parliament as my guests. <laughs> See for yourself in two and a half years what kind of building we have had. what kind of infrastructure a batch of 50 will be convenient but even a batch of 100 will be accommodated i would appeal to the management if every student of this institute will go to delhi and see for themselves new building of parliament bharat mandapam one of the top 10 convention centers in the world and a bigger center than bharat mandapam yashobhumi prime minister's museum and war memorial these things you may not have seen before avail the opportunity mr sujit kumar an is officer in my office will be coordinating with the adc of maharaj gad singh ji for all these things but i will be extremely delighted if this happens very fast so that during this year we are able to expose as many girls from this institute to our indian parliament as is possible <laughs> and the winter session is round the corner friends alumni of this institution when it comes to age will only be in their prime but i have seen from public space the alumni are contributing hugely they are making your institute proud i will have a brainstorming session with the alumni of mayo college girls school at uprashtrapati niwas and find ways so that you create a corpus whereby every student living these premises contributes on a monthly basis for her entire life and that will shape the future of many girls by giving the institute an opportunity to make available education to those who otherwise may not have it friends we are fortunate that the president of the alumni association is here and i am sure the president will fructify this interaction before end of the year someone from my office will be in touch with her finally what i saw this side rendition of national anthem istuti of ganesh ji bharat natyam remarkable remarkable like trained professionals congratulations to all of them i have been a school perfect but those were the days when a school perfect uh, badnor sahab uh, were appointed on account of academic merit but when i saw the school perfect here the house perfects what a formidable combination this gives enough indication that life on the campus is resulting into holistic exposition of all your talents and all facets of your facets of your personality i extended i extend my best wishes to the school the students and their families as you continue your journey of learning and growth 
once again i am grateful to maharaj gad singh ji for having made available this opportunity to me to share my thoughts with those who according to me are foot soldiers are warriors of bharat at 2047 it is on their shoulders that bharat will realize the dream of being the most developed nation of the world at 2047 May the spirit of Mayo College Girls School continue to shine brightly in years to come. Thank you so much. I am grateful. Thank you for sharing your valuable thoughts, sir. I now invite the officiating principal, Mayo College Girls School. Mrs. Supreet Bakshi to announce the school captain for the academic year 2024-25. School captain for the year 2024-25. M two two nine eight Sachi Sehgal. Thank you ma'am. I now request Nishika Shah, Tamanna Jain and Sadhangna Kumari to present our chief guest, Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Jagdeep Thankar ji with a portrait made by the Art Society. I request the president Mayo College General Council and Board of Governors Maharaja Kat Singh ji of Jodhpur to present our chief guest honorable vice president of India Sri Jagdeep Thankar ji with a token of our reverence and gratitude Thank you sir I now request all the guests and students to rise for the national anthem
with this, we come to the end of this year's annual prize giving ceremony. I wish you all a happy and prosperous Diwali and a safe journey back home. I request everyone to remain seated while the chief guest and dignitaries depart. Thank you.